Hi guys, Lauren Murray here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an overview of my Cezanne bag collection. I have a total of eight bags, six different designs, which means from certain designs I have multiple colors. With the holidays on the horizon, many of us are looking at the accessory section. Bags make fantastic gifts, so I want to show you what I have and what my thoughts are on these different bag designs. If you enjoy watching today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you around more. Also, in the description section of this video, I'm going to link my Facebook group. I hope you join us on there. I share daily outfit inspiration, gossip on new collection releases and restocks, brands that I discovered that I think you're going to like if you like Cezanne. And above all, it will be a great way for us to connect on a day-to-day basis. I hope to see you in there. Without any further ado, let's get into today's video. This here is the Faro Bucket Bag in Heritage Leather. It's the first bag I got by Cezanne. I really like the versatility of the shape. You can wear it with so many different outfits. It can be dressed up, it can be dressed down. It fits quite a bit. I use it for work. I carry my mirrorless camera in here. I love that it doesn't attract too much attention that way. I don't like camera bags. so. It's good for uh, the working woman or the woman that likes to carry um, a lot of things with her on a daily basis. The leather is really nice. It's stiff. It has structure. Right now the bag is completely empty, but you can see if I put it on my palm, it just stays up on its own. The color, uh, I love the shades of red. I love that the texture of the leather. I don't really protect this bag. I've worn it for two years and a couple of months quite regularly and you can see there are some scratches but you know that just adds character to your piece and overall I think this leather is fantastic. This bag comes in many different uh, materials. You can get suede uh, right now in many different colors. Great addition to any closet. Highly recommend the Faro. This here is the Victor braided leather bag. I got this piece for myself last Christmas. I'm obsessed with the texture. I love a good texture. I think the design is really minimalist and beautiful, but adding this braided element brings it to the next level. I like the golden hardware. I'm obsessed with the thin, elegant strap. It is adjustable, but it does come you know, it's a one adjustable piece that is really front and center. I don't know why they've decided to do it that well. It's my least favorite part of the bag. Because if I don't pay attention and I wear it at the front, you just, it's all you see, you know, you kind of look at it and it really grabs your eye. I try to wear it the other way where the adjustable part is at the bag. But other than that, one of my favorites, without a doubt. It also comes in smooth leather, but if smooth leather scratches or something that you dread, getting a bag with texture could be a great way to avoid that anxiety. This here is the tea bag. I have two of the tea bag. I have the Burgundy Red, I got it last December, and I have the Denim Blue which I got this past summer in Paris. This is a statement bag. I get so many questions when I wear it. It turns heads. People get infatuated with it. it kind of has a vibe of a more high-end designer uh, piece. It reminds me of the Chloe Hanna bag. I love that Suzanne is utilizing half of the fetish belt buckle as a decorative bag buckle. It's a decorative because you can see here it's actually a magnetic closure. It's a very secure magnetic closure. The two-tone, again, really great detail. We have smooth suede, we have textured leather. And since this is a small bag, I really appreciate that there is a quick access pocket here at the top. These bags are absolutely beautiful and when the design first came out, it was available in a bigger size and I really, really hope that Suzanne brings back this big size because I think I would be willing to add it to my collection, especially if they bring it back into another fun statement color. This is the Ollie bag. I got this bag during the Winter Archives last year and to be honest, I really regret not getting 
the brown suede one when it first came out it's my absolute favorite design i think it's so beautiful and it will match a lot of things in my closet a lot more than the black one however the brown suede has been really hard to uh, acquire it I don't even know if it was part of last winter's archives and every time I see it on Poshmark or other resale websites it's it's quite overpriced and I think I'm just gonna try to be patient and wait for someone who loved it and got all the wear out of it decides to put it out for sale at like a reasonable price or maybe we can swap I can I can swap the black one uh, for the brown one so if you are on the market and you want to swap your brown one for a black one maybe we can work something out it's a very beautiful design it's a statement piece it grabs your attention if you're in the market for something that's more everyday and easy and versatile and low-key maybe stick to the victor or the olivia because this piece is memorable people will definitely know you're wearing it over and over and over again the detailing is gorgeous it looks really high-end designer in my opinion it's from all the bags that i own i think this design it's my absolute favorite in terms of like this part. It's just, it makes you go, <gasps> you know that feeling when you see something and you're like, oh, this is so pretty. This is how this bag makes me feel. Now the downside of it is the strap. I don't like the strap design. It's really, really wide, which makes it kind of uncomfortable to carry. It tends to like slide off my shoulder. Maybe if you have broader shoulders, it will stay on yours, but it definitely doesn't stay on mine. Um, it's easy to swap the strap and this bag being black, matching black leather to other black leather pieces, it's not that hard. So I have a couple of alternative straps that I prefer to wear the Oli with. Other than that, fantastic, beautiful statement piece. This is the Olivia bag. I have it in brown leather and I also have it in pink suede. Currently this design is sold out. However, we saw it appear during the summer archives and I think we might see it during the winter archives. The design is an envelope design with magnetic closure, thin, elegant strap that's adjustable, very minimalist, really versatile. It's small to medium range. It fits a good amount of things without being big bag. Um, and it held really well over time. I had it for about two years. Again, I don't really take any extra steps to protect these bags. I wear them, I go to public transit, I go to events, so I bump into people. And you can see there are some scratches, but given that, you know, the amount of wear this bag has, I think it, it's holding really, really good over time. And here is a close-up view of the pink suede it's my favorite spring slash summer bag it matches a lot of pieces in my closet the only place where you can see some wear on the suede is here at the back where it's usually rubbing against my body i should probably look up online how to clean this it's probably not too much of a headache olivia bag really really highly recommend it it's a beautiful versatile everyday piece this here is the Mona Bucket Bag. This bag, when it first came out, was available in this blue color and yellow and red. It's such a fun, vibrant summer piece. You get this short strap. Very often I wear the short strap, but if you fancy wearing it on your shoulder, there is also a long shoulder strap. You cannot detach it, but you can stick it inside. There is a closure, the bag is not, you know, an open bucket. You can, in fact, protect your belongings. There is a small, very discreet Cezanne logo here at the front. And you can see the suede has stood the test of time. I've been wearing it on my summer warmer temperature destination vacations. And there are some scratches, but nothing too bad. This bag was part of the summer archives. I expect to see it return as part of next summer collection or next summer archives. It's a really fun piece. I wouldn't say it's an everyday piece, but it's a really, really fun piece to wear. All right, guys, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you like these Cezanne bags? Do you own any of them? Are they on your Christmas wish list? 
If you enjoy watching today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you around more. Have a wonderful week and see you next time.